Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is my blessing and privilege to speak to you from Grace Television Studio. God has been so good to us that He has been with us all of the third month and He has made us to walk in the fourth month of this 2017. God has not let us down until this day. He has given us all that we need and He has been a guide and protection throughout all these days. And today, God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. Hold on to the Word of God. What Walk according to what the Spirit of God tells you and leads you. Commit your ways that we will be a blessing to this world. We will be the light of the world to shine in darkness and God is going to do great and wonderful things in each one's life. So this day also I like to meditate the word of God from the Bible and just pray with you. My beloved friends, He is amazing God. We serve a very big God which the world doesn't have. But you have and we all have him beside us and in us to glorify his name. I like to quote out a scripture from the Bible and just pray with you today. John chapter 14 verses 15 to 18 says like this. John, the gospel of John chapter 14 verses 15, 16, 17 and 18. I'm just going to read it for you. Just meditate with me. It says, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Jesus says, You will have an helper that he may abide with you forever. We will have an helper from him and he will abide with us forever. That is what Jesus said. So the helper is none but the Spirit of God. When Spirit of God is in you, nothing can overtake or overcome you in this present world. We will be the victorious person to lead a great and wonderful life with God. Nothing can strike you down and God wants to deal with you abundantly. So the Bible says, when Jesus said in the verse 16, I am meditating on John, the Gospel of John chapter 14, Verse 16 says, And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide in you forever. He will abide in you, abide in you forever. That is what he says. He will be there with you forever. Whatever the situations may be, whatever the things you may go through, he will be with you. This was not happening in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament time, only few people were chosen where the Spirit of God came upon them and they spoke it out. But through the crucifixion of Jesus, shedding the blood of Jesus Christ, the helper has been sent whoever we ask. Whoever asks for the helper, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is what the gift of God is to the people who love him and be with him. So I encourage you today, Allow the Spirit of God to come in your life. Ask Him to flow over you. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you see about Stephen, Bible says he was full of Holy Spirit. He was filled with Holy Spirit. And the apostles were filled with the Holy Spirit. But nothing can strike him or things comes against him. God was in control to lead them out of all dangers. So this is what the Spirit of God can do in your life. He will give you wisdom to go through the situations which we are presently facing in this world. 
lot of people around us will rise against us but still they will not prevail over us because if the spirit of God is in you he will guide you continually and he will tell you what to do and what not to do and that is the way that we have to move forward to glorify the name of the Lord and build the kingdom of the Lord because God has anointed us is only because to proclaim the gospel to the world this is the commandment of the lord to proclaim it and baptize people in the name of the father son and jesus christ son and holy spirit so this is what the bible says baptize them in the name of the father the name of the son and of the holy spirit so this is what has been given to us and we are going to move forward Whoever rises against us, nothing is going to overcome us because the Spirit of God who has filled us till now will lead us in the way what God is going to do through us. That is what the Bible says in verse 17. I am again repeating you. I am just going through the Gospel of John chapter 14. 15, 16, 17 and 18. The 17th verse says like this. The spirit of truth whom the world not cannot receive because it neither sees him or known him. But you know him and he dwells with you and he will be with you. The world will not know who is he but you and I know who is the spirit of God. And the Bible clearly says but you know him. He will dwell. For he dwells within you and will be with you. He is within you and he will be with you. So he is in and out to move forward to glorify the name of the Lord. This is what the Bible says. So hold on to the word of God. Do not go on your own. Do not hear others and do what they say. But wait on on the word of God as the spirit of God who has been given to us it is free you just need to ask spirit of God come into my life fill me fill me completely and you have to walk according to that the spirit of God keeps speaking to you he keeps telling you so whatever you hear do without questioning walk forward without questioning just to move and then God is going to do great and wonderful things through you in this great nation and he will use us throughout the world to glorify the name of the Lord that is what the Bible tells he tells for he dwells with you and will be with you he dwells in you and he will be with you so he is the God who has been promised to be with us always he never stumbles or sleeps he keeps on wake he watches over you and me continually 24 bar 7 we have been protected we have a force which is protecting us from all evil schemes so hold on to the word of God allow the spirit of God to come into you walk according to what the spirit of God tells you and that is where you will be victorious God will have a wonderful blessing in your life 18th verse says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. I will come to you. So Jesus will return. Until his return, the Spirit of God is going to be with you and in you to guide you what to do. So allow God into your life. Whatever situations you may be facing today, it might be a family or a personal or a ministerial problem or anything in and around you. Ask the Spirit of God to deal with you. Ask Him what to do, what to, what to do in the next step. So once you ask Him and allow Him, when He speaks to you, hear it completely and what according to what He tells you. And that is where God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. He has promised, He said, He will be in you and with you. God never changes. We are not worshipping a changing God. He is an unchangeable God. Once he said it is done. It is done. So have faith upon the word of God. Hold on strongly in the word of God. Wait upon him. Then who in this world 
you will be a light shining in darkness. Wherever you go, bondages will broke. It will be broken down. All evil diseases, all evil disasters will just vanish there in the name of Jesus because you have been filled with the Spirit of God and Spirit of God is going to do great and wonder things through you. So if Jesus was here, we always would have depended on Jesus, him to do it. That's why he is being seated at the right hand of God. When Spirit of God is here, God allows us to do what he has done and more than what he has done. That is why he says, whoever believes will do more than what I have done. So this is what the promise of God is. So hold on to faith. Allow the Spirit of God to fill you. Hear what he tells, move according to his will. You will never find fall in your life. And God will definitely uphold you and make your way straight and make you allow you to move forward to glorify his name. So I encourage you this morning, be with the Lord, be filled with the Spirit of God and God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So hold on to it. I'll be continuing with the word of God to you. Keep praying for us. We always pray for you. But do not allow Spirit of God to depart from you. He loves you. He cares for you. He wants to be with you and in you and see that you prosper in all the things that you do. He keeps you away from all evil actions and He will be with you always. He is the only one who can be with you always. No people of the world, they can say by word, I will always be with you, but it will, it will never happen in action. The only action take place with the Spirit of God. He will be always with you wherever you are. Whichever continent you reach, whichever places you go, everywhere He is the one who can guide you and be with you continually. So hold on to Him. God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So I am going to pray for you today. Keep praying and God is going to do great things. Let's bow down and look up to Him. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the things that you have done until this day. Lord, thank you for anointing us and sending us the Spirit to be in and be with us. Lord, we thank you for all the things that you are doing. Spirit of God, move to the people who are watching this and asking for your help, asking for your advice, tuning the ears to hear you. Bless them right now. Speak to them. Guide them. Keep them away from all evil schemes of this world. Let them be with you and in you to glorify the name of the Father and Jesus Christ. I commit each and every one into your mighty hands. And I come against all the bondages and the chains which has bounded them. In the name of Jesus, I break them right now. I break all the curses which is in them. Let the sins be forgiven. Let your blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, cleanse them right now. Purify them. Spirit of God, fill them right now completely and to walk in all your ways. Let all the sorrows turn into joy in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have lost, let them gain multiply to glorify your name. I bless each and every one who are watching this this day. I bless them. I thank you for hearing me and allowing me to speak to them. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, hold on to the word of God. Allow the Spirit of God to come into you. Walk according to what he tells you. You will see great and wonderful things in your life. Be blessed. If you need any counsel, you can just contact the numbers you see on the screen. Do not forget to page me on the messenger or on the Facebook. We are here 24 by 7 to pray and guide you as we receive it from the Spirit of God. God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. Be blessed. God bless you. Amen. Amen.